he's actually developed a web framework that runs on these type of devices. It's called Microdot. He uses MicroPython for most of his experiments here. I have focused mostly on CircuitPython on the show, but the two are really similar. CircuitPython being more geared toward like ease of use and beginner-friendly libraries, where MicroPython might be a little more geared toward performance and low-level hardware control. The Microdot framework, again, is like a kind of cool little web framework for working with these microcontrollers and you know connecting them and like having like an API running on one of them. The whole idea is that they are designed to be efficient, run on very low power, run sort of singular tasks, low memory, et cetera. Uh, they're not designed to be a full functioning computer. He provides his advice. If you're looking for recommendation, I would recommend either the Pico 2W or the ESP32 variants are both fine machines and would work well for any applications that need these kind of microcontrollers. He leaves a final shout out to his library to keep in mind that Microdot you can add a Flask or fast API style web backend and host it inside the device itself as part of your project, which again, very cool. And thanks, Miguel. 